Hi, this is Justin Calvale with Engineering Pro Guides. This is another video for FE mechanical exam, specifically on probability and statistics, where there are four to six problems out of the total 110 problems on the FE mechanical exam. This is part three of the probability and statistics videos, and this video specifically focuses on probability distribution tables, the binomial distribution. So the NCS, FE Reference Handbook, has a set of probability distribution tables, and these tables take all the probability formulas and put the results into tables. Uh, there are several probability distribution formulas, the binomial, normal, T distribution, and the X squared distribution. So generally, these tables describe the probability of obtaining success within an N number of attempts or samples or degrees of freedom with an individual probability of success um, equal to P. So this is used to predict and test the probability of success given a number of samples. So the binomial distribution is used when there are only two outcomes. So in mechanical engineering, this typically means success or failure, pass or does not pass, defective or satisfactory. So the following table will show cumulative binomial probability of success given n independent trials or experiments, x successes, and p the individual probability. So say for example you are to flip a coin. The amount of times you flip a coin is n, a number of trials. These trials are independent because one does not affect the other. And let's assume that in our coin flipping example that heads is a success and tails is a failure. So the number of heads flipped throughout the trials and the number of successes is equal to x and the likelihood of each flip being a heads or a success is 50%. So p, the individual probability, is 0 0.5. So in a set of number of trials, before we get to the table, and the binomial di distribution will graph out the probabilities of success from 0 to n trials and the cumulative binomial probability probability table includes all the probabilities of success from 0 to x. We will go into this in more detail because it's a little bit confusing. So the main objective is to be able to understand how to read these tables for the FE exam. And you want to be able to read them quickly since you only have three minutes per problem. So first, you need to identify the correct column. So the columns correspond to the probability of success for each individual trial or sample. So in this example, the probability of success is 0 0.1 here, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So for a coin flipping example, it would be 0 0.5 and we use this column. Uh, for a probability of success of 0 0.1, meaning that the probability that each product will come out successful is 10%, you would use this column. And for the number of samples that we have, um, you also need to know, make sure that that is correct. So we have n is equal to 2. So this means that the coin is being flipped twice. And then as you go through it, the probability that none of them are a success is x is equal to 0, this row. Probability that um, for the two samples that there is no success or one success is 0 0.99. And the probability that there is no success one success or two successes is equal to one for all of them, but it's typically left blank. <clears throat> so let's use an example. So a combination of the number of successes x out of a total number of trials n. So uh, if you want to know the probability of zero successes out of two trials, then you would find the probability as 0 0.81. This means that there is an 81% chance that you will select two samples and run two trials or run two trials and both will be failures, meaning that you have zero successes. So how did that 81% number come about? Well, you have 0.1% chance of success for one um, sample. That means you have 0.9 chance, uh, chance of failure. So if you want two failures, you take 0 0.9 times 0 0.9, and you get 0 0.81. Then what's the probability of just one success out of two? It's going to be the difference between these two values, 0 0.99 minus 0 0.81, which is equal to 
uh, 0.18. So how did that number come about? Well, you have two possible situations of having one success out of two. So either the first one is a success, and that probability so either the first one is a success and the second one is a failure, and that probability is 0 0.1 times 0 0.9, which comes out to 0 0.09. And the second possibility of success, or one success out of two, is that the first one is a failure and the second one is a success. So that is also equal to 0 0.09, and if you add those two values up together, you get 0.18, and that's the difference between these two values. So the cumulative binomial distribution of success going is um, zero successes and one success is going to be equal to the sum of those values, which is 0 0.99. And then to get to one, what is the probability that both are successful is equal to 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, which comes out to 0 0.01. And so that's the difference between one and 0.99. So it's very important that you understand how to use this table and understand that it is a cumulative table. And so just to go over it one more time with an easier example is the uh, flipping a coin. So what is the probability that both of your, uh, when you flip your coin, that you get failures or x is equal to zero, zero successes. It's gonna be one half times one half, which is 0 0.25. So what's the probability that you get one heads and one tails, again, it's going to be um, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 because the first one could be heads, the second one tails, or the first one could be tails and the second one could be heads. Then finally, what's the probability that you get both successes with x is equal to 2? It's going to be 1 half times 1 half, which is 0 0.25, and all of those values should add up to 1. So the on the exam, the example may not be as simple, but at least now you know how to use this for more complex examples.